Horizon Forbidden West's DLC update with the Burning Shores has brought along with it two new skills for each skill tree along with a new Valor Surge for each. They are naturally down at the bottom of each tree, so you'll have to progress each one and unlock the connecting skills in order to access them. Let's take a closer look at what we have. Starting on the left side, we have the Warrior skill tree. The first skill is Warrior's Instinct, which increases your awareness of weakened enemies and the duration that they're knocked down. Next is the Elemental Spear, which deals elemental damage with your spear by attaching elemental capsules from your Hunter's Kit. You can increase the damage, severity, and duration of the capsules by equipping Outfit Weaves. The new Valor Surge is called Warrior's Vigor, which deals more damage with your spear and warrior bows, and you will gain health back from whatever damage you dish out with either weapon type. When you max this out, the spear and warrior bow double in damage, you can get 10% of your health back with each hit from either weapon, but the kicker is this. You can get up to 50% of your maximum health back when you trigger a Resonator Blast with a Warrior Bow. Next up is the Trapper skill tree. Here we have the Ropecaster Expert, which allows you to shoot another rope to instantly tie down a machine again for a short duration after it recovers from the tied down state. You can only do this once per target. The other skill is Smoke Bomb Heal, which does precisely what it sounds like. You can craft special smoke bombs and while you stand inside of it, your health will gradually recover. The smoke has a shimmering effect, so you'll know in the heat of battle if you threw the correct smoke bomb or not. The Valor Surge is Trap Mines. You equip a throwable mine which will split up into multiple explosive traps. Once you have it maxed out, you will have up to 10 traps that will deploy and each one will do 450 damage. Here comes the Hunter skill tree. We have Glide Targeting, which will slow down time and quick draw your weapon when you aim while gliding. When you unlock the Spectre Gauntlet weapon, you will also be able to fire it while actively gliding. Probably the skill most people will use is the Machine Grapple Strike. When a machine is knocked down, get in range and press X and you will attach to it with your Polecaster. You then tap R1 when the prompt appears and you will energize the target for a Resonator Blast. It's extremely quick and easy to do mid-combat. The Valor Surge is Hunter's Mark. The next several shots with any Hunter Bow will mark your targets and those targets have an increased chance of receiving critical hits. If you destroy a component on the machine, it will cause an explosion for extra damage. With it fully maxed, you have a 30% chance for critical hits, 300 damage for a destroyed component, and a fun tidbit. If you kill a marked target, it will deal 600 shock damage to all other marked targets. Now we have the survivor skill tree. You have shield drop, where you can learn how to craft and deploy these small shields that go down in front of you. You can maximize this shield's durability by equipping outfit weaves. It is a fully functioning shield, so not only can enemies not hit you, but you can't shoot through it. You also have low health stamina, where you regain weapon stamina faster when you are in the critical health state, or below 25% health. The Valor Surge is called Defy Death, where you drink a potion that deals more damage and you gain a second chance while reducing your maximum health to critical state. When it ends, you regain health up to the critical health threshold. The damage increase when it's at level 3 is 50%, and when the surge is over, all status effects are cleansed and you gain 30% damage resistance for 5 seconds. Time for the Infiltrator skill tree. First up is Stealth Resonator, which is where Silent Strikes build up Resonator energy faster and deals more damage when the spear is fully charged. You then have Sharp Shot Expert, which helps Sharp Shot bows be more accurate when walking or crouching. The Valor Surge here is Berserk Blast, where you attach a special module to your spear and trigger a blast that puts all nearby enemies into the Berserk state. When maxed, the blast radius is 40 meters, the effect is for 60 seconds, and affected targets will receive 10 damage per second and will be confused when the effect wears off. Last up is the Machine Master skill tree. You have the Flying Grapple Launch, which gives you the ability to grapple launch from flying mounts. You also have Resonator Refill, where overriding a machine instantly energizes your spear for a Resonator Blast. The Valor Surge is Override Overdrive. All overridden machines emit arcs of electricity to nearby enemies, deal more damage, take damage over time, and will explode upon death. At level 3, the arc damage will be 50 every 2 seconds, the damage increase is 150%, and the explosion radius is 16 meters. That pretty much sums it all up. Hopefully running through this and offering up some gameplay for you helped to visualize things better and give you some idea of the new things that we have access to with the DLC. If you found any of this informational, a like is highly appreciated, and give us a follow for more Burning Shores content, both in long and short video forms. Thanks for sticking with me to the end, because as we all know, time is shards.